Creating Excel file using PHP would require a library called PHP Spreadsheet. You can download it via Composer using command line either on localhost or on server using cPanel. You can download Composer from its official site, link will be provided in the description. So go ahead and open your command terminal and open your project root folder in terminal. CD and in double quotes the complete path of root folder. Make sure you have installed the composer. Run the command composer require php office slash php spreadsheet. Also make sure you have write permissions enabled on your folder because composer will be downloading this library in your project. Apply to enclosed items will set the right permission to nested folders too. Now open your file where you want to read or write the Excel file. Start PHP tag. First you need to include the library. You just need to add auto load file which will be in this vendor folder and it will include all other files by itself. Then you need to create a spreadsheet instance it will be used to create a file. New operator will be used to create a new instance. The path to spreadsheet class is PHP office backslash and in source folder you will see a folder named PHP spreadsheet. That is where all our classes has been stored. Add this in spreadsheet class path. And we will be using this class to create a new spreadsheet instance. Now we will create the writer object. Writer class will be used to actually create an Excel file in your project folder. From now on the base path of all classes will be PHP office backslash PHP spreadsheet. Go to folder writer. And here we have class XLS, or XLSX. We will be using this as it is more compatible than the other. This class has a parameterized constructor and you need to pass the spreadsheet instance in it which we just created in the previous step. And now we need to call the save function with this writer object and give the name of output file. Now you will see when I refresh the page a new spreadsheet will be created named test. This is the basic method of creating a spreadsheet. Now we will add some values in cells just for telling you the basic way of writing data in cells. Call the getSheet function and pass the index of sheet. As we will adding data in first sheet and index starts from zero so we will pass zero. And set cell value will write the value in specified cell. First parameter will be the path of cell where data needs to be stored and second will be the actual value. So it has saved successfully in cell A1. We actually want to show this database data in spreadsheet. We will display customers data and payment details. Of course you will have your own structure but it will be good enough to give you an idea how you can use it in your scenario. So first remove that. Create a connection with database. Host. Username. Password. Database name. And here we are running the query. We will be getting data from two tables using inner join. Here you can place all your required queries. Now first we will to show a heading on top of sheet. Basically that would be treated as a header, it is a common practice while writing data in sheets. So we will get the first sheet. 
and write the value in first five cells of first row but you can add as many values as needed. The row address will remain same but the cell address will be different for each heading. We will display check number and amount on last two headings. Then we will display customer name, phone number, and his address line. So it has put the values in correct place but you can see that it is giving absolute width to cells. We need to give it width based on values inside the cell, so that you can see complete cell value without having to resize the column each time we open the sheet. So go ahead and get the first sheet as usual. And call the function get column dimension. And tell the name of cell whose dimension needs to be adjusted. And call set auto size. As the name suggests it will automatically adjust the size of cells based on their content. And we can adjust the other cells too by simply calling the same function. So all cells has been adjusted. Now we need to apply some styles in order to make the heading look prominent. So create an array named styles. To set background color we will be using property called fill. And it is also an array. Here we need to tell the fill type. And you can set the fill type by first setting the path to spreadsheet folder. Then go to style folder. Here you will find fill class. Open the file and it will show you all the possible values for fill type. I am going to use fill solid as it will make the background completely filled. And we need to tell the color. If you want it to give gradient color then you can also use end color property too. But for simplicity we are using just start color. It is also an array and you can use RGB for solid color or RGBA for adding some opacity in the background color. RGB stands for red, green and blue so we are giving the complete value to red and giving zero values to green and blue. In order to apply the style we must tell the address of cells where the style will be applied. So get the first sheet and call get style function and pass the range of cells. We will be applying this to only header so we are selecting a 1 to E1. Call the function apply from array and pass our style array as parameter. Fill has been applied but you can also change the font color. Like in this case we want the font color to be white instead of default black. So add another array name font. And add an attribute named color. And its value will be same as of start color attribute. Write 6 times F means the color white because all 3 colors will have maximum values. So we have displayed the header as it should have looked. Now we need to display the rest of data below. So create a while loop on all rows fetched from database. We are copying the header and pasting inside the loop to save time.
then set the values in second parameter as per from database. We are receiving each row in this variable. First will be customer name, then phone. Address line 1. Please note that you will be placing your own fields here. And amount. Since we will be moving on next row after writing in all its cell, so we need to change the row address after each iteration. Create a variable and initialize its value from 1. And append that after the cell address. Do it for all cells. And increment the counter after inside the loop block so it will always move to the next row. Actually the variable should start from 2 because it has replaced the header with database data. So the creating part is done. Now we need to learn to read a spreadsheet file from server. Like write our object, we also need a reader object. We can do by first set the base path of library. Make sure we are not creating a reader object so no need to write new operator. Here you will see a file named IO Factory which stands for Input Output Factory. Call the function load, as this function is static so we will be using scope resolution operator. And tell the path of input file. Get first sheet. Get row iterator which will return all rows inside the sheet. Create an HTML table tag. Loop through all rows. Close for each loop. Create a table row and inside this table row we will loop through all cells in this row. So call get cell iterator with each loop to return all columns in that row. And loop through each column too. And for each, create a table data inside column loop block. And print the column value. You can either use get value or get calculated value. If you are using formulas in your cell then you need to call get calculated value but it will also work for normal cells too. The data has been displayed as an Excel file. The last thing you can do is to make the header look different than the data. We need to apply a condition on first row. Create a variable and initialize it with 1. Check if the value is 1 then we will create heading tag otherwise we will be creating simple table data tag. Copy paste this and just change the TD to TH.
Now we just need to increment the counter before closing the for each loop of row. This is how it is reading the Excel file. And this is the actual Excel file which is dynamically created. One more thing you can do is to add an option to download the file, because in most of the cases you want the user or administrator to download the sheet in his computer. You just need to create an anchor tag which when clicked will download the file. Add text download. Ref should be the name of input file. And download attribute will make the file downloadable. Its value must be the name after download. So it is saved in my desktop. You will see it will be same as we have created. So that's all here. Hope you learned a lot and it might help you in your projects. If you ever came across to work on spreadsheets, if you face any problem or have any suggestions, please feel free to tell in the comments section below.